and uh, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than uh, Andrew does with the classical violin. A lot of people ask me, teachers and students all the time, uh, what's the difference between a violin and a fiddle? And uh, nothing really, it's just the style that's played in. So this is my fiddle, I've actually got another violin at home that I uh, use more for classical work. When I'm playing in country bands or jazz groups or whatever, I like to use this and you might notice it's modified a bit with a pick up a microphone there on the bridge. Now first of all, I'm going to play a little excerpt from Blues in the Dungeon by a really great um, jazz blues violinist from the 1930s and 40s, a Negro player named Stuff Smith. And uh, that was his nickname because his real name was Leroy Hezekiah Smith. And when he toured with Louis Armstrong, uh, everyone, no one could remember his uh, full name, so they just called him Stuff. All right, so uh, here's Blues from the Dungeon by Stuff Smith, about uh, late 1930s, early 40s. <laughs> Now, another style of jazz, about the same time, 1930s and 40s, was uh, swing style. And a very famous and a very well-known um, jazz violinist was Stefan Rapelli, who uh, was based in Paris. And uh, he played in a, an all-acoustic group called the Quintet of the Hot Club of France. He played jazz violin in that for many years. And uh, one of the musicians, the other musicians in the uh, Hot Club of uh, France, the Quintet, was a guitarist. A gypsy guitarist named Django Reinhardt. I'm just going to play a little bit of uh, one of the pieces that Django composed especially for Stefan Propelli, the A minor swing. <laughs> something like this. Um, and you'll notice too in, in jazz violin and even in blues we use a lot of uh, double stop in playing two notes at once just like classical violence does but also with the Stuff Smith um, piece Blues in the Dungeon uh, just like a saxophone player would we kind of bend the, the uh, blues notes. Kind of bend the notes a little bit. So here we are, um, All of Me uh, which is a typical uh, swing piece. simulates a uh, train starting. They might have had a double bass, they might have had to improvise a double bass with an old T chest, and like we have in Australia, a bush bass, and they'd make a very rough kind of bass like that. 
Now, there was no violin teachers uh, in the Appalachian Mountains, so you'd often see them playing like this. Okay, very different technique. And they do this, they go, okay, I don't know how to tune it, they wouldn't tune it to a standard classical tuning, so we drop the E string down to a D. And don't let your violin teacher see this, uh, this clip, or I'll get in trouble. Open D tuning. I drop the G right down. It's not quite right. Right down to it. There we are, nearly got it. It's quite hard to tune like that. And a very famous Appalachian mountain tune. Okay, so you hear it. A classical violin does not sound that way. Famous Appalachian mountain tune, Bone Path Tree. So that's a little wrap up of many different styles of jazz, blues, country and western, and even bluegrass. Uh, fiddle style playing.